there. Anybody that knows me or has fished with me, they, they you know I love to fish dry flies. And one of my favorite times of the year is we get later into the summer when the hoppers are out. And whether it's a small stream where you're walking, wading, fishing hoppers, or whether it's out of a drift boat on the Madison or the Big Hole or the Bow River, casting, uh, I love casting hoppers to the bank and, and watching fish eat them. So I'm going to show you uh, one of my favorite hopper patterns. It's a big foam thing that will float all day long, and it's a, it's a easy fly to tie. Um, and uh, fairly simple as well, not too many materials and steps. In the vise I have a uh, Tiemco 2312, um, it's a ring eye hook. To that I'm going to attach some tan 6 aught uni thread. I'll cover the hook shank with that. The body of this fly, I'm going to use it's two layers of uh, closed cell foam, sheet foam. Um, somehow this tan layer ended up being a bit thinner than the yellow one, but these are just glued together with some Elmer's spray adhesive, um, and it seems to work pretty well. So I'm going to position this so that the front of this thing is out just out in front of the eye of the hook a little bit, and we're going to tie it on back here. Then we're going to come forward just a little bit. We want to tie three more segments to this body, plus a head, I think. Now, when we get to that point, before we tie on the third segment and the head, we have to tie on some legs. And there's all kinds of rubber legs. We're just going to use, uh, I bought this stuff, it's kind of a in a sheet with these black bars on it, yellow with black bars on it. And um, what I want to do is I want to start with two two of these that are still attached together. So let me just we'll cut them off up there. And what I want to do is near each end of this thing is just tie an overhand knot on it. Fairly close to the end. Okay, to form the back half of a leg. And we'll do the same on the other end here. We'll just tie a, a more simple overhand knot on that. Yeah, simple, right? We'll just use the point of the scissors to go in there and fish that end through. Once again, we're going to tie it right down near the end. And then we're going to take that thing, and we've got two knots in it. We're going to fold it in half so the knots are kind of right together. And then we're going to, at the top of the loop, so we can cut it, cut it right in half, halfway between those two knots. We're going to take one of these legs and tie it on one side here. And you can fool around with the proportions and how long you want to make the back, the kicker leg, and all that stuff. And we're going to tie one on the other side so the knots are pretty much lined up, even with each other. about like that. Then we're going to pull everything back out of the way and come up just behind the eye of the hook. And we're going to tie down that body material again. Right at that point. We're going to bring the legs up along each side and tie them in at that point as well. Then we're going to take a piece of this. This is a Montana 
fly company has a, a sheet wing material uh, that they sell. It's a synthetic thing. We're just going to cut a strip off that. And the width of this strip will depend on the size of the fly you're tying. But once we get that, we're going to fold it in half lengthways like this. I'm going to come up here and not quite in half. There we go. We're going to come up here and just take a long angle cut down here and then just knock that little corner off to more or less round up the end of that. We're going to put it in position. I guess if you wanted, you can come back here and cut this back of the body off so you know how long to make the wing. We're going to put that wing, lay that wing out on there, come up here and cut it off right where we've tied the legs in the last place there. So we just want to cut that off, place it back on top of this thing. And tie it on right on top of where those last set of legs were tied in. So that's kind of an overwing, or the only wing on this particular fly, I guess. Well, that's not true. We're going to put one more material on. You could argue that it's a wing or just a an indicator of some description. We're going to use this material. It's a poly post wing material. It's called by Wapsi. It's really visible, very bright white. We're just going to tie that on top of that where we tied that other wing on, three or four wraps. We're going to pull that back out of there, double it over, and tie it back over top itself. And we're going to come up here and cut that off. And that's going to be a, kind of an overwing, I guess, more for visibility than anything else. Then the last thing we want to do here, well, one of the last things is separate these legs. The point of your scissors. Easier said than done. Do the same on both sides. And I find that because we tied them on the side there, there's kind of one that's on top and one that's on the bottom. I usually take the top one on each side and fold it back out of the way a little bit. And we'll take a few turns of thread there to tie them back out of the way. So we got four front legs and two kicker legs on this thing. And at that point, we're finished tying things on. We can put a little whip finish on here now in behind that head. And we're going to trim that head down a little bit. It's a little bit bigger than it needs to be. That's the style of whip finisher I like to use, by the way. It's a, it allows you to get back in behind heads and legs and things like this and tie them off without tying things down. And we'll just slide up underneath there and trim that thread off without amputating any legs. We'll just cut that head back a little bit. Like that and then maybe the last thing we could do if you want you can take it out of the vise and slide back under here and just trim that abdomen back a little bit just put some angle cuts on each side just to maybe get a, a bit of a tapered look and there you have kind of a quick and easy hopper pattern. If you wanted to, you could cut one hind leg off each one of these. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Anyway, neat hopper fly. I love fishing hoppers. It's a great time of the year. Mm -hmm.